hi there everyone and welcome to this video today we are going to talk about some sorting searching and filtering uh, functionality that we can use within our business central environment so uh, let's jump into it i'm going to go into my customers list from my home screen here and what i'll do is just begin by talking through some of the sorting functionality available to us um, so what I can do is I can literally just click on any of the fields available to me here and you'll notice what it's doing is it's sorting that data in ascending or descending order. Okay, so I can do that on the contact, I can do that on the name, I can do that on the number here. So um, it's just letting me sort that in ascending or descending order i can equally click the little drop down here next to the field name the column name there and i can say ascending or descending here okay um, so that will do the same thing that's in descending order and that's now in ascending order and see you have the little arrow here just telling you what you're sorting that particular page on at that point in time now the sorting feature, it's available on most, but not all types of fields. Um, so there are things like flow fields, um, which aren't actual fields on page, they're uh, pages, they're lookups to um, other tables. So uh, yeah, you can't do this on uh, on every bit of data within Business Central, um, but um, if you wanted to, you could export to Excel, and I guess that would give you the ability to do that on uh, on every field on the page that you're looking at. So next one we're going to talk about is the searching functionality in Business Central. So this is very simply the search function that we have on the top left here of pretty much every page in Business Central. So I can just click into that um, if I want to or let me click off that field and you can use the F3 shortcut on your keyboard. So if you want to just um, move the focus onto that search bar within the page you can use F3 um, on your keyboard and that will move the focus to our search function there. Now within the search function I can type the name of what I'm looking for within the page below. Okay. Now this um, value that I type into here is uh, not necessarily going to relate to any one particular field that we have in the data set below. Um, we can type in anything and it will search across all the fields available there. Okay, so for example, if I type in tray here, you can see the customer page has filtered to where the name of my customer is tray research. Okay, so equally I can change this to say Megan there and you can see there it's searched in the contact name for Megan. Okay, and just finally here, if I go 10,000, it's filtered by the number there. It's found customer number 10,000. So this is a small data set here, but you know, you could use this. Um, it is a quick way of searching your data in Business Central. Um, and bear in mind, this feature searches across all fields available to us um, on, on the page that we're on. Now, final bit that I want to talk about for this video is the filter pane here. So I'm just using the funnel on the top right hand side of the page here to hide and show my filter pane there. You can see this bit on the left hand side appears and disappears as I toggle this. OK, so I can also use um, the shortcut here, shift and F3, where if I just press that there sorry it expands and as you can see collapses the filter pane now what is the filter pane um, well it's basically a similar function to search but instead of searching across all of the fields here I'm dropping down here and I am picking a specific field okay so see on the left hand side here where I said I wanted to add a filter I've got my number field I've got my name field I've got my responsibility center. So it lists all of the visible fields that we have. And then underneath all of the visible fields, so the visible fields stop there. If I scroll to the right here, you see payments is my last field there. 
and payments is my last field there but then it gives me all of the fields on the underlying table okay so on the customer table we know we have address address to allow line discount etc we've got hundreds of fields there okay um, and in this functionality I can very simply let me just say number here for example and I'm gonna say 10,000 okay now what happens is it filters my page so it's not searching as we did on the prior function up here this is filtering so it's actually limiting the data based on this particular field so that's the number field that I've selected here and I've entered in 10,000 so it's going to filter where the number is equal to 10,000 okay so I can also input other filters as you know let me remove this I can drop down I can add another filter on location code on phone number contact any of the fields that I see on my customer table okay now perhaps a quick way to add one of these filters is I can go in click the drop down next to any of my fields there and I can go filter or filter to this value okay so you can see I've got that available to me on any of the drop downs here next to the fields I just need to click the little drop down here and that will give me the ability to say filter or filter to this value now the difference between those two is if I drop down and say filter see it's added a filter box here for me based on the number field and that's because I pressed filter on the number field there okay I can do the same here on number let me say on name sorry on um, that field I'll drop down and say filter and now you see it adds a filter for name just one more time I'll do the same on responsibility center you can see it's added a filter here for responsibility center now I can go in and remove these by just clicking the X next to the filter um, the field filter name there okay and I entered in a value of 10,000 earlier but you can see here it does drop down on the data underneath okay so I can drop down I can select the record that I want to filter to but if I want to I can add two full stops here so that's some of the filter criteria that we can use and that means through until right so if I put in 30,000 here what I'm saying to BC is I want to see records 10,000 and the two full stops mean up until 30,000 and that's inclusive okay so uh, on the filter screen now I see customer 10,000 20,000 and 30,000 okay so um, there's a bunch of these that you can use I'll, sh I'll show you some very quickly right now um, but you can um, use a, a, a whole load of these and what I'll do is I'll pop a link into the description so you can see all of the different ones that you can use okay so just very quickly some of the other ones here is if I replace those two full stops with a pipe character um, what this means is I want to see customer 10,000 or so the pipe character is or customer 30,000 okay so if I move off that field what you'll see now is you uh, don't see customer 20,000 and that's because our filter criteria is on the number column uh, number field and it's telling us it wants to see uh, customer 10,000 or customer 30,000 so you can also use not equal to so if I input this filter here and we can see we've got the brackets pointing away from each other and then 10,000 and what this effectively means is I want to see data where it's the number field is not equal to 10,000 so here now in the list you see I don't see my customer 10,000 but I do see other records okay so you can tell there's a filter on this particular field just because we see the little funnel above this field right and I can add multiple filters at the same point in time so if I say plus filter here or indeed I go into contact and say filter and I can say where the contact and I'm just going to add a wild card here is Helen okay so what this is is the contact uh, field is the one that we're filtering on and I've got the little stars either side so I pressed shift and eight on my keyboard to get these stars and what I'm saying is I want to see the word Helen so anywhere where 
the word Helen has been mentioned in the contact column and the customer number is not equal to 10,000, right? So you get the idea. You can start adding in um, a bunch of these filters the way that you want to. And if you want to remove all of your filters, you can come in and say reset filters and that takes away all of your filters there, okay? Um, and just one last thing here that I want to show you is that you can save your view, right? So I'm just messing about here on the customers page. Probably not relevant, but um, if I wanted to, I can add um, a, a sort of a filter here. If I just put in percent my customers, um, sorry, I just tabbed off that. So let me say the number field is percent my customers. What this will do is this will show me my customers. And if I want to, then I can save this as a view. I can click the little disk there and go my customers and press enter. And what this will do now is it will save the my customers view within my business central environment. OK, so I can quickly switch between views where I see all customers or only my customers. And on that view, it adds any of the filters that I would have had when I saved that particular view. So this might save you a bit of time if um, you uh, don't want to be putting in the same filters all the time. Um, you know, you can just save that as a view and you can access the view anytime you need it. OK, so that's everything I want to show you in this video. But as I say, I will pop a link into a Microsoft Learn page with some more filter criteria on there. Have a play. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, but as I say, that's everything I wanted to show you. I hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.